Hello friends, we are back for another episode of Final Fantasy 7. We got our party here, Sid, Red, and Yuffie. Yuffie? Yuffie. Looked like I was uh, upset with her. Yuffie! Anyway, um, before we leave Coral altogether... What's a meteor? Oh, the innocent. The naive youth. Nice. Yeah, that's why I came in here. I knew someone had an item. I think that's Barrett's final limit break. She'd probably be sick if uh, she knew I was going to give it to Barrett, given that he destroyed the town. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Anyway, um, yeah, I think Shinra was the only ones who could have stopped me here, but we're ruining that plan for some reason. <laughs> As I revisit the, uh, the question of... It seems like this is the only time Shinra's ever tried to do anything good to save the world, and we're kind of, you know, cocking that up, to use a uh, brand new expression here on Let's Play with Brigands. So now let's head to uh, Fort Condor, I think that's where they said the other one was. The other uh, huge materia, at least at this point in the game. That meteor's getting closer. It is beautiful though, isn't it? Something beautiful about impending doom. How are we all doing on the bridge? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, shall we take off? Gaining that confidence. So I don't think he leveled up that time. All right, let's touch down. Right. Right. It's actually touchdown. Probably bring Barrett, considering that uh, he's got the limit break finally, but. Wait a minute. How do I, uh... What's the button for this? Hold on, as I go through every button on the controller. Oh, seriously. How do we land? Oh god, maybe I can't land on this. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's fine. Ah, I just don't feel like changing the materia. Screw it. Ford Condor, we come. I did this once earlier, briefly. We'll do it for real this time. Get the huge materia and uh, protect the fort, which is always under siege by the Shinra. I guess, um... I guess they have a good reason this time. The best way to do that? All right. I mean, not for nothing. I mean, they, they, again, they want to save the world so they can keep being evil, but I think the ends justify the means. Or rather, the means justify the ends, I should say. Yeah, let's take a nap. It's not like Shinra's knocking on the door, taking the huge materia as we sleep. We're here. Let's just do it. Sorry, Cloud. We'll check on him after this. See if any of his memories returned or if he's still catatonic as hell. Little catatonic. Y'all have any cool new items or anything for me? about you. Anything new? We will too. We're charging you our top dollar prices. Yeah, I think we're good on all this stuff. Okay. Whatever. Um, Alright, you know, let's head out. A vending machine? What the hell is that then? Condom machine? Lotto machine? Toughest part is getting up those stairs. All right. My God, it's majestic. Just looks like it's part of the factory. All right. 
dann. Talk to the guy. Cool. Isn't that always the case? Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Let's just have him come up and up the speed. Just take him on. Head on. Since I have uh, been informed that yeah, well, it seems like it doesn't really matter. No matter who you fight at the top, that's always like the boss, basically. So, yeah, look at that thing. Statuesque. And it's massive egg. But I think we'll get some Phoenix summon materia here, hopefully, along with the huge materia. Yeah, this is more dudes than last time. I feel like. Those polygons. Beast 1, 2, 3, and 4. Best friends at the Academy. Hoping to make a difference for the Shinra today. As I become... I switch over to color commentator mode. Barbarian 1 and Barbarian 2. They don't really get on. But they put aside their differences today to save the world. Slash destroy it. Slash... I don't know. Is this Beast 3? Or Barbarian 3? Beast 6? Beast 5? Beast... Four barbarian, four barbarian. You think it's going to get there first? The wyvern? The wyvern seems like it's making up ground here. And it doesn't have to go the long way. Alright, Mr. Wyvern. Let's do this thing. In like 20 seconds. A little anticlimactic doing it this way. Music feels a bit wasted. I mean, I have the money, obviously. Look at that. Crazy. Buy all these guys just for the hell of it. But... Watch my Let's Play Battle Chess if you want to see a pop. Uh, <laughs> rock, paper, scissors game. All right, let's do it. My god, you didn't put anyone out there, you fool! Again. All right. Here we go, look at this guy. See what he's got to steal at this stage in the game. Let's go with some big guard. It's been a while. Just fountain pen his ass. Earth ray. <laughs> Let's see it. Rub the base. Yeah, get him, Marlin. Yeah, sick him. Good boy. Wow. Oh, granted, that might be a desperation I'm about to die move. That's pretty funny. Alright, so I appreciate how that didn't get any harder. <laughs> Waste of time. Can I get the huge material and all that stuff? Wait, huh? Oh, doesn't it, uh... This part's bittersweet. It's the egg hatches. Slash explodes. And there's the phoenix. And it just can... kills the condor. Wow. Oh, Phoenix Pateri, your mommy's dead. Can you like, can you be Flamey from Secret of Mana and fly us around the world? I mean, we have the high one. But... Bye. That was cute. Where's the huge materia? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I killed my mom. No big deal. What are you guys gonna do now? The Shinra have no reason to be here anymore. Their lives have no purpose.
That is something you can give me. Gotta have that material. <laughs> it's, uh, it's commercial season, I guess, if he's trying to book. Oh, well, whatever. It's easy as hell, so it's not a big deal. Nice. Probably radioactive as hell now, but that's fine. That's alright. We're still alive. That guy was super easy. There's only three, huh? Since we always mess with them, that's true. We do have a bit of a uh, Wiley Coyote Roadrunner relationship. Let's check on that little fella. Aw, Sid. Oh. <laughs> Let's do it. That's where we we're going next, anyway, so that works out. by Fort Condor. Where the hell did I park? Was it over here? You know, there we go. Alright. South to Medeal. Down here, I believe. Nice. I didn't really check out this place yet. I feel like I just sort of talked to Cloud and that was it. Uh, uh can you sell me something? Charity store. We got weapons? Crystal sword. Man, I wish I had someone in the party that could use that. The M can. Seems good. Crystal cone, better. Much better for her. Screw him, he's a spy. Yes, no more fountain pen. And we might use him. Ooh, crystal bangles. What do they got? That's decent slottage. What's this cat? Better slottage, but at what cost? Buy four of these crystal bangles. Pop this stuff on real quick. Who are, what are you doing? You're everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you've been selling your mastered all materia too. But I got more than you. Alright. Pop this on right quick. Oh, wait, what was he using? Javelin? Alright, so. Just want to make sure we don't lose any slots on any of this stuff. This is the same. Not going to lose anything there, really. Good. I like it when it's nice and seamless like that, the transition. This is going to be good too. Now we need double at this point in the game. I mean, we do, but it's fine. Good luck. There's Phoenix. Get that on her. Ultima. out. Good luck. Glad we stopped off. Who's this person? She's kind of dressed like uh, that uh, Chocobo trainer. This person's everywhere. How'd you get here before me? Son of a bitch. HP plus. Ooh. I always use a bunch of these. It's got five of those. Give me two of them. Five of them. Six of these. Jeez, you buy a hat like that, you get a free bowl of soup. To kind of paraphrase Gaddy Shack. <laughs> okay. Weird. 
wonderful to be seeing you again sometime. All right, uh, yeah, wait. let's get some extra material. Uh, HP. Don't need the chocolate lore. Don't need Kujata. Might as well get some more MP too. Why not? Nice. All right. I feel like we should pitch a tenter. Really? Maybe they got some crazy new items that I haven't seen before. Son of a bitch! Chocolate's ignoring him as they don't look like they're giving greens! Ah. Uh, do you have some sweet greens or something? Yeah, I gotta go back to, uh, Chocolate Billies. I like when the stuff he has on display is clearly not stuff I can buy, like, tea sets and crap like that. China. Hello, sir. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna steal from you. Shirt. Whoa! Yeah, I took it, old man. <laughs> yeah, I bet you will. Thank you required. I got a massive fountain pen. Oh, wait, no. I don't know what his new weapon looks like. So we'll go up this bridge. Ah, it tried chasing me, but it got stuck. Is this the end? Do they have it in here? Well, I hope you're 99 and you turn 100 tomorrow, because we're all screwed. Nice. I got all this stuff that is mostly crap. Could use some luck though. Oh, I don't need that much luck. Let's get three. Those little rings. Oh, I should probably talk to you. I came all this way. Huh. It's cheery. Alright, maybe I'll go outside, get a tent going real quick, quick save, and we'll check on our, our little fella, as Sid calls him. Nice, I like all these uh, HP and MP boosts. How we doing? Ugh, I just used a tent. But yeah, I'm sure it's exhausting just sitting next to Cloud this entire time while we go jump on out of control runaway trains and take down, I don't know, defend condor forts. What's he doing? Hmm? What? Are you doing that with your mind, Cloud? Coming, they're coming. What? <laughs> he was... What? Damn, what the hell? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the hell? Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Get back inside. Back in that clearly reinforced and <laughs> very safe looking shack. Flimsy ass wood. Oh, it's weapon. Good. Damn, that's a weapon. <laughs> yeah, you might say it was planned. Nice. Does he respond to. Yeah, yes, he does. Whoa, okay, we're dead. Alright, let's use some of these limits on this son of a bitch. 
Oh, Yuffie. Um, wait. Not Yuffie. Big guard. Boost jump. How am I still on boost jump? I need to check that out, I guess, if we survive. Uh, let's steal from Weapon. He's probably got some cool stuff. Nice. I like that weapon a lot more than I found the thing I was working with last time. Big guard. Greased lightning. I wish we could see that, but we need cures. Oh god. This might hurt. This might sting a bit. Can you get that cure off? There you go. Let's try that grease lightning. Mm. Pretty lame. That's alright. What? I want to steal from you. Come back, you son of a bitch. Oh well. Well. We intimidated him, clearly. Take off. Like, it's like a random lighting guy follow him around and just, like, wh where are these crazy lights coming from? That's weird. Yeah, we're, we weren't doing too bad. Hmm. Maybe it's like the moon, it's like gravitational pull just sucks it away. What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Aftershock. Huh. It's good leadership. Diva, get the fuck out of there! Like the doctor just took off. <laughs> Oh no, okay, he's right there. Very calm. Hmm. Or if any of the structures in this town were made of anything other than old beech wood. Get him out of here! Friendship. Up, oh, up. Oh. A little further. Keep going. Oh god. Back into the live stream. Trippy. I love this part. Hmm. Well, the next part. Oof. Been there. Night of. Anyway. Ah, yes. Who am I? Starring Jackie Chan. One of my favorites of his. But right now, where am I? Yeah. 
getting warm. Yeah. Settle this once and for all. Who the hell is Cloud Strife? It's a little kid version of me. Not that little, I guess. Alright. But with Cloud there, and who was that black haired guy? Try to deconstruct these memories. Save this one. Be taller. Yeah. Okay. Time for some truth. <sighs> it wasn't you. It wasn't him. You weren't here, right? Huh. Why did she have reason to think he was coming? Older that small? Yeah, there he is. Black hair again. Huh. So Sephiroth wasn't lying. Or that version of him that we talked to. get it. <laughs> Back to child's pose. Alright. That looks like him in uh, Midgar, maybe. Let's try this one. No? Yeah. share this one, don't we? <laughs> hmm. 
And that's how we got here. Talk here. You want it to be like Sephiroth? Oh. Never mind. Was my guide here? Oh, didn't your dad or your mom pass away? Or... Cloud. He just wants to play. <laughs> just wants to be friends. Oh. <laughs> huh. In a town of like six people, that's impressive. Unbelievable almost. But no, that that's actually what happened. Huh. <laughs> he was probably jealous. <laughs> we were kids. a lot. What? Who's Shadow Cloud? Uh, he wanted to be. Include it. Huh. So she was surprised. Again, I love this uh, young cloud spirit guide right here. That's the day that you're like her mother, right? Yeah.
<laughs> it's a little kid of, kind of view of it. A little kid thought process. off down the here. It's like, no. Screw this noise. There should be enemies everywhere, by the way. There's a little cloud wanting to be included. As he follows them. <laughs> that damn rope bridge. Fucking broke when I was with Sephiroth. Well, I say I. When that black-haired guy was with Sephiroth. Other kids wussed out. Huh. But little Claude wanted to be brave. Huh. You have plenty of time to think about it while you're bleeding out. <laughs> Not cool, Cloud. I guess he did just say he scraped his knees. <sighs> Her injuries were much worse. Wow. Seven, there's that number again. Huh. That sparked something. It's not your fault. Yeah. Hmm. All right. But what happened to me after I left for? There you go. <laughs> Level up. What happened to me after I? Uh, Yeah. After I joined Soldier. Like, that's still not me that shows up. here for that. What are we going to find there? Right. Yeah. Ugh. Brings back memories of Eris. It's not Cloud, though. It's just we share the same hairdresser. Who is that guy? He went into Genova. Zack. Oh, she didn't want to say it, but she knew that was... Alright, so his name is Zack. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, from Soldier and Eris's first real boyfriend. Zack. Yeah. From the Gangaga area or whatever that village was. Zack. Yeah, where was Cloud? He knows this. Alright, Zack got his ass kicked by Sephiroth. He was the... he was the guard? He's just the Shinra guy? Huh. Yes! Mom, T for my town, get back. That's him! Huh. I'm here because of you and you took it all from me. Rage took over. Huh. 
that's what happened. Huh. She didn't know. Because he was ashamed. Huh. He hid under the... Huh. On the truck. Yeah, he was the one that was car sick or truck sick. Yeah. Wow. Never made it. Wasn't strong enough. And Zach was, oh, I get to try my new materia today. <laughs> there you go, and he put his helmet back on. Huh. Surprised Zach didn't, and he was talking to me. Okay. There you go. That all makes sense now. There he was, and he was the one that didn't fall on Mount Nival. The other guy fell, yeah, he fell off the, the bridge and died. Or they lost him. Yeah, he came after all. freak out like that. <clears throat> His mom's head. Sephiroth died. Or at least was taken to the North Crater. And frozen. Where he sleeps today, at this point, years later. Makes sense. The real cloud, please stand up. Every memory. Putting him back together. Once you figure out who you are, you can come out. After you've watched Who Am I a couple times on VHS, 
You awaken right outside. Oh, okay. Or we just, our teammates just fished us out. Huh. <laughs> Too true. Another seven day coma. All right. Let's clear it up. <laughs> I never was in Soldier, yeah. Made up the story about what happened five years ago in my being in Soldier. I left my village looking for glory, but never made it in the Soldier. I'm so ashamed of being so weak that I heard the story from my friend Zack. Create an illusion of myself. Made up what I've seen in my life, huh? Eventually it took over. Yeah. He accepted it as the truth. Huh. But you're the one who sort of killed Sephiroth. <laughs> Damn. That's <laughs> the most genuine thing anyone has said. <laughs> you sure messed up, Cloud. That means he ain't no different from before. Alright, the line's coming up. By the way, Cloud, what are you going to do now? <laughs> Leave the ship. Now? Yeah. I'm the one who handed over the black materia. That's why I have to do everything to stop this thing. You're gonna keep fighting to save the planet? Yeah, that's right. Here we go. It's like you always told me, Barrett. <laughs> there ain't no getting off of this train. Damn right. We got the band back together, people. Excellent. And on that incredibly positive note, we're going to pick up here next week as we continue to fight for the planet in this Final Fantasy VII Let's Play right here on Let's Play with Brigands. I hope to see you then.